CPU bound and IO bound software. What are them? Where they live? And what they eat? Let's talk about them a little bit. When optimizing software performance, it's crucial to understand the nature of its tasks. Software can generally be classified as either IO bound or CPU bound. Let's talk about these terms and what they mean. Before we proceed, if you like this kind of content, just give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel so we can learn more about software engineering. And never forget that the more you learn, the better you become and more value you can provide. So let's keep moving. IO bound operations refer to software that spends most of its time waiting for input and output operations to complete. For input and output, we refer to reading and writing large files from disk, fetching data from a remote server or database, handling network communication. They're often characterized by high latency due to waiting for I.O. operations to complete, and often spent a lot of time idle. CPU-bounded software, on the other hand, is limited by the processing power of the CPU. This means that the application's performance is constrained by how quickly it can perform some computations and process data. Some examples of CPU-bounded operations are performing complex mathematical calculations, rendering graphics or video processing, running machine learning algorithms. P.S. One thing you might have noticed is that when you make a call to OpenAI's API or another large language model, the operation is I.O. bounded for you since you have to wait for their API to generate the output, but it's CPU bounded for them since they have to run the AI models in their machines. CPU bounded is often characterized by high CPU usage with intensive computation tasks, and often spends most of its time executing instructions on the CPU. And that's pretty much it. Remember that understanding whether your software is I.O. bounded or CPU bounded is essential for optimizing its performance. By applying the appropriate strategies, you can ensure that your application runs efficiently and effectively. I hope you liked it, and I see you in the next time.